Prime Minister champions sustainable development goals, lords Jamaica National Service Corps program, and targets September resumption of face-to-face -face classes. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. At the beginning of last week, Prime Minister Andrew Holness participated in the virtual summit Partnering for Green Growth and the Global Goals 2030. Dubbed P4G, the summit was held in Seoul, Korea under the theme Inclusive Green Recovery Towards Carbon Neutrality. Mr. Holness used the forum to call on the international community to assist small island developing states recovering from COVID-19 by bridging the gaps in the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals and the Climate Change Agenda. We also call on the international community to ensure that there is equitable global access to COVID-19 vaccines, that financial resources for climate action be scaled up and access simplified that new categories are established for access to concessional and non-concessional development finance based on vulnerability measures rather than per capita income. Mr. Holness also urged world leaders to consider the deployment of more resources for adaptation initiatives, access to technology for research and development, digitization, modernization and early warning systems were also championed by the Prime Minister. Today, we have a unique opportunity to generate an inclusive, resilient, and green recovery that ensures a broad and lasting rise in prosperity, especially for the poorest, most marginalized, highly indebted, and vulnerable. It is an opportunity we cannot afford to miss. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Holness joined a virtual panel discussion in observation of World Oceans Day. During the summit, Mr. Holness reiterated the government's commitment to protecting the environment. This, he says, is being done through the continuous strengthening of comprehensive and sustainable environmental policies. We have finalized several key national environmental policies, uh, including, for example, a climate change policy framework, a forest policy, a water sector policy and action plan, uh, an ocean and coastal zone management policy, and a national policy on environmental management systems. Mr. Holness says work is also being done on policies related to hazardous waste, wildlife trade, biosafety, watershed management, protected areas, beach access and emissions. In addition to the passage of a new Fisheries Act, Prime Minister Holness says that the island is amending the National Resources Conservation Authority Act to include stiffer fines for breaches. Earlier in the week, Mr. Holness reiterated government's commitment to providing opportunities for young people to reach their full potential. He made the pledge of the recent passing out parade for 235 Jamaican National Service Corps JNSC recruits. The recruits, including 50 females, transitioned to the regular ranks of the Jamaica Defence Force after a year-long training course. Prime Minister Holness says investment in the JNSC is critical to the assurance of defence and security in building a strong economic future. Unfortunately, too many of our young people continue to find themselves as part of the problem. Our nation's youth are the future of our country. If we are to reduce the high levels of crime and violence in Jamaica, we must productively and positively engage our youth so that they do not become targets for recruitment by gangs or fall prone to other types of criminal activities. Thursday saw the Prime Minister addressing the official opening of electronics and photography company Computer Consultants. He says that the investment is a positive sign that the economy is rebounding from the coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Holness also reiterated the state's commitment to returning the economy to normalcy. It doesn't mean that we abandon our COVID management measures but it means that in the true sense of it, we will have to learn how to live with the virus. We want you to survive COVID and still have your job. We want you to survive COVID and still 
be educated. That was the appeal from Prime Minister Andrew Holness as he addressed education stakeholders at a virtual sensitization town hall on Friday. Mr. Holness says government is targeting the return of full face-to-face -face learning in September. Prime Minister Holness says the resumption will be dependent on the behavior of education stakeholders. He is calling on parents and teachers, especially those in the priority groups and those with comorbidities, to get vaccinated. Mr. Holness is also reassuring students sitting exit exams that adjustments have been made to make the tests fair. Do the best you can. We understand and we're going to put in place the measures to support you, not just up to the exam, but even after the exams to ensure that you are not at a disadvantage as you progress through your education journey. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.